Hi everyone, welcome to the July update 2022. And wow, the energies of today and this month are just something else. So a few things to impart for you, but I just wanted to show you the beauty of nature and what's blooming. We've got some fabulous evening primrose that have just come out with these gorgeous poppies. Carol Wilson, my friend, gave us the evening primroses and I just wanted to share that beauty with you. And uh, maybe you can see beyond that to the hills. It's a... <clears throat> It's an ever-changing landscape, this, and it's all to do with our amazing farmers because as they're working through their seasonal needs, the fields change, the animal population changes, the birds change. It's just, it's just phenomenal. So I hope you're enjoying, I really hope you're enjoying your summer, whatever the weather is. <laughs> Okay, so July, basically two words, if you can remember, open. You need to remain really, really open and true. So open and true are the headlines for the month of July. And we're gonna need everything that we're made of to remain in an open-hearted, open-minded, open state and being really, really true to ourselves. During this month, there are going to be several times where you feel a little bit uncomfortable. You feel a little bit like there's niggles going on and you can't quite, they're not loud enough or that it's not big enough for you to understand what's going on and therefore respond. It's more like, oh, I'm not quite settled in myself in some way. Whenever you get that during this month, just stop what you're doing Take a nice deep breath in so that you can actually bring all of your essence within your frame. I call all aspects of my soul back to me now so that you can be more earthed, more fully present in the now. And really take it quite seriously if you're having these niggles and go, okay, what is there in me? Because it's all about you. What is there in me that feels a bit off center, a bit, not settled what is there what's going on so that you can get some information from your intuitive self from your body from signs that happen after that in answer to your question um, whether that's listening to a song and there's words there that make sense to you or chatting to somebody and that makes sense to you information can come from all manner all manner of sources so that you can start to understand a bit more about how to convert these niggles into that joyful life that's available uh, for you right now. The other thing is, uh, is there's quite a lot of uh, energy this month that's, um, that's helping you to release and heal some of the triggers. There's always people in our lives or situations that act as triggers. And what I mean by a trigger is where someone says something or you overhear something or you're in a situation or you see, you see something and all of a sudden you're in an emotional state that is, has negative behaviors for you. And you therefore want to work on that a little bit of self-loving to bring you back to that neutral territory or happiness again. But the triggers are around quite large and, and neon lit, lit this month. So they're there to assist you. So if you get any triggers, really have a look at what is left in you that needs healing or that needs to emotionally respond to so that you have more of an idea of what's going on so that you can actually be your own healer and you can come through these trigger points with behavior that you want to have because this is all about you and what you're choosing so if you can't do that yourself there's plenty of therapists and self-help um, videos funnily enough and various other things out there that can assist you because you don't have to do this on your own but this month is very charged with transformation and kind of um, 
emotionally empowered this month. It's very, it's like fire has risen and there's a lot of passion around. So it's going to help you have the momentum and, and the passion to sort some of this stuff out that you might have been trying to push under the, <laughs> under the carpet for years. So yes, yeah, so if those triggers come up, do something about them, be loving to yourself, but go get some help if you can't do it for yourself. And just be aware of all those, those niggly bits that are going on. See if you can address them and change them into something that you feel more cohesive about and more content with and have more of a peaceful uh, feeling about your life and what's happening there. Um, quite a lot of um, self-inquiry is needed this month to transform some of the some of the things you're not so proud about you know into things that you can be proud about okay so that's part of it the other part of the month is dancing okay actually getting up and having a really good bop around to some of that favorite music or your own rhythm of life it's about getting really jiggy with it, just having a good dance, having some movement around the place, going for some walks, just re singing to the top of your voice, <laughs> whatever makes you happy, but through the physicality of your body. Maybe you want to take up a Tai Chi class. Maybe you want to, you just, it's self-expression through the physical form. So dancing, creating your own rhythm, anything where you can bring bodily form, whether it's, whether it's beautiful slow movements or whether it's getting up there and, and what's that phrase, dance like nobody's watching? <laughs> Any of that is really, really needed. It's, it's to do with this fire energy that's starting to uh, come up from the earth and it's to, it's self-expressive. So. Um, either we do that through, you know, the heart and the chimney of the soul and we voice it out there, which is always, you know, interesting when we're feeling in an in a unbalanced state or we can use our physicality to put us into a really good happy mood and voice it from that perspective. So use your body this month in whichever way that pleasures you <laughs> to get that fire and that expression of life through the bodily form so dancing is on the menu and last but not least the messages from the cosmic guides are all about this age that we're in your age <laughs> um, about the um about the fact that many of these beings around us to help us now believe we have worked lifetimes to be here on this planet at this pivotal moment of change. And, you know, we don't have to look that far out, uh, out beyond the community and the world and the global picture to understand that massive changes are happening everywhere. And there's no accident that this is the time of the people. This is our time. This is the people's time. It's people's choices. So people may well gather together for to have a, a representation for themselves as a group to say we'd like this and we'd like this change and we don't like that but we want this reform it's about leadership in our own life and it is undoubtedly the time of the people we all have a voice and now is the time to use it um, not necessarily just to state what is negative out there and we don't like but to come up with some solutions about what we do want and what we do like and what part we can take in that because every single voice every single heart your heart you're so important counts so um there was just a little bit in there with the cosmic guide saying you know guys do, just don't underestimate yourself you're amazingly wonderful powerful beings and you spent a long time getting to this point. So you're needed, you're valued, you're loved, you're seen and heard. So it's okay to have your voice in your own life about what you want. So that's something to cultivate for this month of July too. Okay, my darlings, look forward to the comments. I'll be having chats with you later. Lots of love. Bye for now. <laughs>